Duke Nukem can do that too. Ah. Hey everybody, are you ready to rock yet again? Because it's time for more Duke Nukem Forever. Or at least the old build of the game. I'm not done with you yet. Let's see what else this has to offer, huh? For starters, Lake Mead and Hoover Dam and inside Hoover Dam and the chase and the Gus encounter. Ooh, we've got a, quite a lot here. Quite a lot more than I thought, actually. Excellent. At hotel, if I remember correctly, um, that's where I got, sh got pretty much killed instantly by the forces. Let's try it again. Me getting my ass kicked again ought to be entertaining for you. But Duke Nukem doesn't get his ass kicked, he kicks ass. But sometimes when people play as Duke Nukem, they're not nearly as cool as he is. I'm willing to admit that. Also, look how much of this is unfinished. It is an early build of the game, what do you expect? And in my opinion, in some ways, the game doesn't even know what it wants to be even back then. Although it does seem more promising than the final build, in some ways. Probably because it's wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, and there's still a lot of... Anyway. I need to take cover here. Ah, crap. Okay, it is possible to kill them. It is possible to prevail. I just have to be very careful. Oh boy, this is bad. Unlike the final game, his health doesn't regenerate, so that's uh, pro that's gonna be a problem too. Oh boy, I'm out of ammo. That is very bad. The situation has gone from bad to critical. Okay, there we go. Okay, I beat them, so that's cool. I mean, I got some of my ego back, I guess. Oh boy. Seriously? Seriously? There's so many freaking many of them. How the hell are you supposed to get through this shit? How are you supposed to get through this shit? You don't even get any ammo back. What the hell kind of crap is this? At least I did confirm that they are killable. Pimpness. Ah, that's great. That's just great right there. Yeah, see, PMP. Pimp. I love how the fence just instantly appears because it's in beta. Oh crap, come on, come on. I'll take cover here. This is my best shot here. There's more where that came from. Sure there is. I'm guessing you weren't even voiced by John St. John at this point in development. Or if you were, he really phoned it in, to say the least. You ain't seen nothing yet. Jeez. I can kill them easily enough, but you don't get any ammo from them, and there are more of them. Oh boy. Yep, no more ammo. This is where I'm already getting screwed again. How the hell am I supposed to get through this? What the hell am I supposed to do about this? You run out of ammo so damned easily. I guess I'll just run away. That'll do good for my ego, just running away. Oh crap. Come on, man. The hell's this? Oh shit, what's this? What the hell? Well, um... I guess I found somewhere. Ah, oh, that's great. That's great. Great, I got past them, but now I'm gonna die. 
Hmm. Oh, wait. I got it. If I can push this one, everything will glitch out, but at the same time, I'll just die. You know? That'll work out perfectly, won't it? What the hell was that crap? I pushed everything perfectly, what the hell? What the hell was that? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Come on, man. That reminds me of the overflying vehicles from Quake 2. I think at one point it was supposed to be using the Quake 2 engine and then they switched to the Unreal Engine or something, or maybe I'm thinking of Daikatana. But then again, this game switched engines so many times during development. Oh shit. Oh boy. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna keep my ammo. I don't give a damn. I don't want them to shred me. Oh yeah. That was like, scripted and whatnot. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that was supposed to happen. It was supposed to cr crunch it. Supposed to break it open, you know? Okay. The barrel isn't even exploding. Why not? Oh, it exploded that time. It exploded when I was close enough for it to kill me. I get the feeling this this mission might be a little bit beyond me. Let's quit. I'm gonna do what all heroes do and just quit. Only for the game, the menu to be unresponsive. Okay, hang tight real quick. Ain't no doubt about it, this build is janky as hell, but hey, it had some potential somewhere. Had they made it a little more like Duke 3D and a little less like Call of Duty meets whatever that monster truck segment was supposed to be, maybe it's supposed to be Halo because of the Warthogs, but who knows? Oh, look at that. Sweet. We got us a turret sequence. I mean, even those are a little bit lame, but... Oh, cool. That's lovely. Let's see if I can at least do this. Well, I didn't shoot all of them, and now I can't. They went too far. I got so far. I fought so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Well, crap. Oh, I see. You gotta keep sustained fire on them to some extent. They've got some health there. You don't just point at them and then they immediately die. You gotta actually aim that thing. You gotta aim that bad boy. Uh-oh. Are they actually fighting back? Man, that would be a disaster if they actually started fighting back. This is probably just to test the sentry. If I had to guess. Just to make sure that the mechanics work properly, you know? Very nice. Take this. Oh, you're already down. That was fast. Especially for a big boy. Is the sun rising or is it setting? The mysteries of the ages, I say. What the hell? Oh, uh, okay. Was I supposed to do something there? Probably destroy them. There, that's good. Yeah. 
Cool. Um, I think that was supposed to be destroyed. You know, like it's... Like it looks like he's just plowing through it as it explodes all cool-like, but they forgot to make it actually disappear. You know, fall apart with the explosion. It's fine though, it's fine. What the hell? I think my boat is leaving without me. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, you were supposed to go over there and then uh, presumably continue on with your mission. Sadly, it did not happen for me. Too bad I can't open a developer console or something. Let's see if Doom Clip does anything. Nope, it does not do anything. Real shame. Real damn shame. Let's see if there's anything that I can do with the movements. There does not appear to be anything I can do. So let's just go ahead and start a new game. Because why the hell not? I think I've seen enough of that. Hoover Dam, Topside Chunk. Sure, why not? I'm game if you are. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I think that's where it was supposed to proceed into. It was supposed to transition into this one. Well, at least it works now. Alright, see ya, buddy. Looks like a navy, a navy captain or something. Eh, yeah, probably not, but hey. What the hell? Oh, it's a ladder. <laughs> Thought it was a door or something. I was like, what the hell? Why isn't it opening? Let me guess. Okay. Just as I suspected, or at least I should have suspected. Oh, crap. He's got a shield. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Matt's corpse. Inventory. Could I have done that in the previous one? I should look into that. I mean, not that it matters because I blew up, but... You know. Might have come in handy. I get the feeling that saving isn't going to be very stable either. Push button control. Oh, cool. What does that do? Maybe I gotta push it up. Or not. I have no idea what that even does. It might help if I even knew what the hell this was. Earth Defense Force. Well, that that's gonna come in so much handy for me to decide what that is. What is this again? Hard hat controls. I can't see whatever it is I'm controlling, so that's what makes it so difficult. I mean, I can move to the left and right, and I can move up and down with WASD, but unfortunately I have no idea what I'm even controlling, so that makes it difficult. I'm just getting started. You bastard. I mean, uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace or something. I don't know. Whatever's appropriate for the moment, I guess. Huh. What's over here? Maybe I gotta go down here. Yeah, it looks about right. Wait a minute. What's with the fence here? Ain't nobody got a time for fences. It's time to jump. Somehow that actually worked. Hell yeah. I mean, of course it worked, because I'm Duke Nukem, baby. And there's even a ladder right here. I guess the whole objective is to get inside that pipe. Let's pipe it up. Pipe down the aliens' plans. And shoot right into their pipe. I know that probably sounds really weird. Oh, cool. Nice, he uses the same sound. Or at least it uses one, one cycle of the sound. Ow. I'm beginning to think I wasn't actually supposed to go over there. But then again, what the hell do I know? 
Oh, shit. Yeah, that didn't turn out so good, did it? At least this time I was able to actually close it out without having to just use Task Manager or something. Hopefully I can get back into it fast enough. Because before I had to use Task Manager to just basically crash the game. Inside Hoover Dam, Chunk 1. I'm guessing this is what it would have looked like if I hadn't fallen to my death. Huh, neat. Oh, I see. How'd you get all the way up here? You know what, let's not ask questions. Let's not ask dumb questions here. There is such a thing as dumb questions, after all. I mean, maybe. Ah, that's good. Okay, time to do what I need to do, presumably. What the hell is that? Is that the freeze thrower? No, whatever it is, it's hooked up to something. For some reason it looked like it might be the freeze thrower. The best safety device is a careful man. Well, by that metric, the most dangerous thing is a reckless man. And it's time to get a little reckless. High voltage. Well, it's a good thing I'm Homer Simpson. Otherwise, I might have needed safety gloves. I fear I reference that too much. Like every time I see something that says high voltage, I want to talk about how I don't need safety gloves because I'm Homer Simpson. Or something. Either way. Look at this, we got ourselves a fuse here. Yep, even as far back as this, you had to do puzzles of some kind. I'm sure if there were enemies here, you know, like, I don't know, aliens? Well, that would be more interesting. But I suppose in this early build, I wouldn't want to have to fight anything anyway, given how well those possessed humans turned out. Although possessed humans are kind of weird for a game like this. Just my opinion, though. <laughs> well, what do you know? Fun stuff. Okay, that is in fact a decorative door. Where am I supposed to put this fuse? Am I supposed to blow the fuse or something? Okay, that's obviously not it. We gotta think about this. Or maybe... Maybe I'm supposed to actually select it and then do something. Oh. Did that actually do it? Did that actually do the... Oh. Okay, hologram. Locked and ready to rock, Duke. We got a damn guide. I don't like it, Duke. It's too quiet. I love how they, they're just given lines from Duke Nukem Zero Hour. Man, I love that game. Is this another bug hunt, sir? No, sir. Aren't you supposed to, uh, guide me or something? Aren't you supposed to, like, uh, guide me or something? <laughs> yeah. Guide us. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And if you don't, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. <clears throat> oh, I just killed a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, <clears throat> see what I did there? Now watch this. <laughs> you just popped his head off. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> I'll admit there is some amusement to be had here. I get the feeling you were supposed to be able to go down there, you know, after taking the damn guide's advice. Wee! I survived that. Somehow I actually survived that. This. Ding. Now maybe I can see what else is in here. Maybe I was actually supposed to get to the bottom. Of course, I'm not going to survive another fall. Let's be real. Maybe if I had more health, I could, but... As it stands right now, 
I don't have a chance. I don't have a prayer. I'm gonna die. Ow. Told ya. See, it was literally minus six. Which means that if I had more than 36 points of health, it would have so been done. But anyway... I should probably move on or something. Obviously the damn guide isn't gonna damn help me. What the hell? How come game never works properly? It's kinda weird. You know what I'm saying? Oh well. Let's intentionally try to die. Oh, wait. I was intentionally trying to die and somehow that left me with more health. Cool. Now maybe I can get a little bit better for this, huh? Maybe I can survive this fall now. Who knows? I guess I will once I make the fall. Ah! Bingo. I can survive. I will survive. I will survive. Mission passed. Respect plus one. And all I had to do was intentionally jump. Again, somehow that worked. I don't know how that worked, but it worked, and I'm not gonna complain about it. That was freaking awesome, man. Freaking awesome. I am the Duke. Well, this is fun. That's where you came from, you can sort of tell. Yeah. Kind of funny, on that whole area, there's just that one little tiny hole. Doesn't seem to be anywhere else you can go to, though, unless this opens. Nope, didn't think so. And I'm guessing that door isn't going to open either, but hey, everything's worth trying once. Oh, that's lovely. I'm just falling through the floor. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Okay, let's see what happens when I... Ch okay, nothing happens. Only one thing left to do. I'll probably die, but hey, that's the whole point. The whole point is to... You know, be adventurous, see what happens. Oh. Oh. I'm still alive. I mean, I'm barely alive, but I'm still alive. Let's see how far we can go. Given I'm pretty sure you're not even supposed to have come down here, let alone down here. Oh. Oh wait, I can't go further. I thought there was an invisible wall there for a minute. Nope, I'm still waiting forward. That is cool. Ain't nothing gonna break my style. Nobody's gonna slow me down. Uh-oh, I've got to keep on moving. Why do I get the feeling this is where that donkey was supposed to appear in the trailer? You know, yeah, ride a donkey through the canyons and something. I mean, it was a good moment for a trailer, but I can't imagine it would be very fun to play. You know? The best way I could see it is probably either another turret sequence, just with your regular guns, or just skip it. Don't know. Maybe just a cutscene, a high octane cutscene. As your reward for making this far. Upon closer inspection, that is not 3D, that is in fact part of the texture. How wonderful. I made it this far. And got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. You had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Nice view. Anyway, I think I'm going to go to a different level. Hold on. Okay, um, uh, yeah, the settings aren't gonna work. None of this is gonna work, really. Level of detail? Huh. Cool. Anyway, hold tight, kiddos. I guess it's time for a chase sequence. 
Well, I just hope this makes better use out of the, out of the motorcycle than that other mission. That was barely even there, you know? I'm sure this has a little bit more teeth to it. Oh, okay. You had to actually get on it. I guess it was supposed to happen automatically, but you know, how things work out. I do like the fact that the keys have some kind of physics attached to them. I'm guessing you were supposed to chase these guys, or maybe they were supposed to chase you, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Ah, I see. Well then. Yep. Better be careful. And try not to land at any of those. This is a little exciting. I mean, at least there's a little bit more going on than that other one. And I don't get the feeling that I'm just gonna fall into nothingness. At least not right away. Okay, that's a cool gas station there. Yeah. It's a real shame they didn't just go full throttle with this build. I mean, yeah, it still wouldn't have been exactly like Duke 3D. There are some questionable things even back then, but... It looks like it would have at least been better than what we ended up with, you know? There's potential here. You know, had they just gone hard, high-octane action like Duke 3D. You know, just make it an FPS where you can do things with your... Oh, cool. Oh, crap. Let's uh, try that again. Anyway. Or it's more like the original Duke 3D or Doom or something where you're constantly in shooter mode. You're, there are constantly aliens and other things around to shoot, but at the same time you can do quests at the same time. Or maybe even more like Duke Nukem Zero Hour. Okay, that works. I guess. As long as I get through it, I guess that's what matters. Yep, and this is clearly where they ran out of time to do the environment. Because there are big chunks missing. Or maybe that's just a glitch. They didn't have enough time to make it stable. That's probably more like it. Up oh, here, here it ends. This is clearly where things end up. Not bad, though. I mean, at least there's more here. I can clearly see what they intended. And some of the animations look nice. Like, um, do doing that. Uh-oh. Better be careful, I don't want to fall over the, the edge of the world again. That would be most inconvenient. Huh, look at that. Huh. Duke is such a hot rod rider that he can just r drive up the, sla the side of the mountain. Eat your heart out. Um big rigs over the hill over the road racing Duke Nukem can do that too you're not special okay now I'll go off the edge of the world oh Duke Nukem is such a badass that he just floats in midair although the guy from big rigs can do that too technically you know what I think this is a good moment to end this on for now Probably. So, that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like motorcycling. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's a shame there isn't a slope or something that I can use to get back on track. Oh well, it's not like there's anywhere to go to anyway. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and very pleasant day. This is weird, man. Anyway, see you later. If you like what you saw, you can find more of that in these videos right here. If you're a real junkie for video games like I am, then subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already to get your next fix. And a like and a comment are always appreciated too.